Hello and welcome to this episode of Luthia Shorts. In this episode I'm going to show you how I shape the tuna blanks now that they've been um, drilled and slotted ready for the tuna post we now need to add the radius to the sides of the of the blanks to make them more like this. This is a, a black, this is a, a button I made from another material from um, fossil walrus cheekbone. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do that with the mammoth now. So the first thing you need to do is kind of figure out what radius that is. And the way I did that was kind of super low budget and old school. I just held these original tuna buttons which came from um, the Gibson uh, tuners which I mentioned I think in part one and I just held them up against various round things until until I found a match which in this case is this cup. I then measured this halved it for the radius and that became the radius for these curves. So then I went about making a jig to be able to um, give that radius, add that radius to the blanks. And the jig that I came up with is this. What you can see here is two-sided because we have to deal with adding the radius once when it's flat on one side. If you can see that there. And then again once half of the radius has been added to one half of the blank. So I'll explain that in a moment. And basically all this is is just a piece of plywood and I made this this pin in here which I don't know if you can see that there but it has a kind of flattened end so that it will sit nicely into the slot that we made on the tuner buttons there. And the idea is that starting on the flat side of the jig, we place the pin in, place the blank onto the pin, like so and then you see the hole underneath here which conforms to uh, the radius it sits on top of this so that it can then rotate and we butt this up against the grinder which which you'll see in a moment okay so I think that explains the jig we're going to move over to the grinder now and I'll show you the process so here we are at the grinder and the next thing to do is with this still loose is to just butt it straight up against the grinder like that. Just make sure that you have a good connection on all, on all um, aspects of the face of the blank there so we know that it's nice and square and then just clamp this platform down in place. Oops. And then it's just a matter of uh, turning the grinder on and uh, rotating the jig to give that curve. So here we go. So you may have noticed me just adjusting the jig slightly there. What I was doing was moving it a little bit closer towards the grinder 
because the vibration was bringing it away a little bit even though it's clamped down so you do have to kind of do this a little bit by eye a little bit by feel somehow uh, it's not a perfect process we don't have CNC's and all that kind of stuff here right now I think it's a little bit too thick still on this side so I'm gonna kind of cheat it a little bit and do it by uh, feel, do it by eye Okay, so now we have a nice even curve. It needs to be sanded out just a little bit there, but it's nice and even in terms of the thickness on these sides. But we'll finish that curve later with a little bit of sandpaper. So now we have to switch the jig over to use the curved side, which means taking the pin out and putting the pin down here on this side. So you can see now that we have the round, the, the radius side of the blank that fits into this radius concave section of the jig there, like so. And then the pin back in its slot. And then the same process just to butt this up against. And go. So what I have here is a piece of uh, 220 grit sandpaper on a piece of flat granite and I'm just going to refine those radiuses on here until we get a nice smooth curve. As you can see there now we have a nice even radius curve on both sides of the blank and it's ready to install. Um, of course it needs to be sanded and polished but I actually like to do that when it's installed on the tuna. It's kind of much easier to, to, to hold and to manipulate that way. Um, so we install it on the tuna first with a little bit of epoxy and then we buff and sand it up. But that is for part four. So um, thanks for watching this episode. Please like and subscribe and see you next time. Oops.